Okay, so this is the Web Inspector, and um, here is the resource tab, which includes absolutely everything, which is cool, but if we go to, um, uh, say, the body, and we want to look at the background image and actually look at that separately, if we click on the image, we get to see the image, but there's no way to actually get the URL for that image. Um, there's something here that's kind of hidden away. Basically, what we had before was um, the URL across the top, or you could actually take that URL and, um, and look at the headers that were sent. But we've got that in the network tab now, but we don't have it when we open the network tab. So there's no request has been captured, so we reload. And the page read loads, great. So I go to my element, click on the image. Okay, doesn't, doesn't match up, so I need to go to the network, um, filter by images, and then scroll down these thumbnails until I find the right one. So let's um, change it to content. Oh, good looking guy there, maybe. Okay, so we found it. Um, and we've got exactly the same output as we do from the resources tab, except we have the extra information, such as the full request URL. We've got the headers, which is useful. Now, if I close this and then just open it again, I've lost all of the resource information I had a moment ago. Um, so losing that is actually a bit of a pain in the backside. The other thing, I mean, only if you know that, I mean, there used to be a storage tab and now it's kind of hidden away down here. Um, I'm, I don't know, having this lot as separate storage was actually quite powerful because you could just jump straight to it rather than having to scroll down all the way to the bottom of the, uh, the resources and find the local storage. Um, but that's that's the main issue, the fact that the, the network tab has all the information for resources but appears and disappears as you open and close.